Hey everyone, Kaylee here with another holiday style, and this one kind of goes back to my bohemian hairstyle roots. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that I love that. I love the large kind of braided bun with kind of an unassuming texture. It's very homespun, but still makes a statement. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we're going to section because that's what I always do. Um, you're going to start out by sectioning off the hair in front of your ears and securing it with a clip on either side of your head. And then once you have all the hair clipped out of the way in the front of your ears, go ahead and take the rest of it and put it into a ponytail at about the middle of your head with a hair elastic. And then this next step is absolutely optional to being, actually it might be completely useless, but what I did was to curl my hair in the ponytail and in front of my ears to add a little bit of texture, especially to the braid. If you have fine straight hair like mine, braids tend to look better when your hair is curled, so that's what I did, but it's definitely not necessary. So step two is to braid the front. First you want to make sure your hair is parted where you like it. Then sweep your hair back in a way that is flattering for your face shape and in a way that you like. And then split the hair into three and begin braiding. You want to start out with those first couple bits of braiding right where you want the hair to fall once it's all pinned up and done. That way there's no weird bagging or anything if you were to pull it off to the side and start braiding it first. So just braid it a couple of times first in the position that you want it and then finish it off in whatever position is most comfortable for your arms because I know this can definitely be a workout. Then you're going to go ahead and pull the braid apart to make it extra big and noticeable. Once you've got that to your liking, you're going to go ahead and pull it back to the position that you were braiding in. And then once it's there, just pin it in place right over your ponytail. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Brush your hair back and then split it into three and begin braiding. Once that braid is done, of course, you want to make sure that you pull it out and make it look extra, extra large. And once that is done, you're going to put it in place and we are all done with the front. Yay! So now we get to move on to the bun, which might be the most involved part of this, but I promise it's totally worth it. So to get that extra large bun, what we're going to do is split the hair into three. We're going to start off with that middle section right there. And you're going to make a little half moon shape right over your ponytail. So twist it and then wrap it making this little half moon shape. And then you're going to pin that against your head and you're going to let the ends just fall. Then take your section on the left and twist it and wrap it right over the one that we just did. So you can see we're already making an extra big bun because we're layering these together. It's also good for those of you with thick hair because it doesn't end up sticking out really far away from your head. So then you're going to pin that in place. Now with the final section, you're going to make another half moon shape on the bottom of this bun. So you just form that into place right there and then you pin it in place. Make sure this makes a pretty shape, like an oval or a circle. You don't want it to be lopsided or anything like that. At this point, the ends of your hair should be on either side of the bun. And we're going to go ahead and braid those ends. So starting with the one on the left, we're going to braid upward until you reach the end of your hair and then secure it with a band or an elastic or whatever you want to do. And then on the other side, braid downward and secure it with a band, clip, whatever. Now, if your hair isn't quite long enough to pull this off, which is completely understandable, one thing that you could do is to leave out a complete section of your hair from the bun. So create the bun and leave out a whole section of your hair just for the braids instead of using your ends for that. If you're concerned that you don't have enough hair, you could replace one of the three sections that we make the bun with with the braid and then just make the bun that way instead of wrapping a braid around. Once you have those braids done, you're going to wrap them around the outside and pin them in place. Make sure instead of placing them flush against your scalp like so, you pull it out so that it's sitting slightly on top of the bun so that it's more noticeable. And then of course pin the end in place so that it stays nicely throughout the day and add any additional pins that you need. Now you may have noticed this annoying little section of hair that got left out. It is the saddest thing to me when that happens, so here's what you can do to fix it if it happens to you. Gather all those little hairs together and wrap it around your fingers and make sure that you have every little bit of hair. So once you have that wrapped around, kind of use your hands to feel around and make sure there's nothing left. And then take that little wrapped up section of hair and tuck it up underneath the bun and pin it in place there. And it is gone and hidden and nobody has to know that you ever missed a whole section of hair. Unless of course you filmed yourself doing a tutorial, in which case everybody knows you did that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I kind of like going back to my kind of bohemian roots. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.